Good day to you viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Lay Rectory. Uh, it's 2017 and this is our first broadcast. I'm here with the Squire. Good morning, Squire. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Colonel. Nice to see you all again. Hope you all had a happy new year and uh, I wish you all a happy new year and uh, hope, you've, hope you uh, succeed in what you try to do and have a good time. Well, here we are again. <coughs> yes start of another collecting season. Amazing. <coughs> last year was brilliant, wasn't it? Oh, yes, there were some, some good things to be found last year. If you had eyes to see and opportunities to buy, there were all sorts of goodies about. Well, the point is that I look at it this way, that a thing doesn't have to be particularly rare to be interesting. How true. A lot of Or expensive, of course. A lot of rare stuff probably isn't as useful as some of the the less rare, mm. but it could uh, still be, still be uh, of considerable interest. Very much so. You know, there's, there, there are several machines on eBay at this very moment which are interesting, but I don't need to buy them. No. I don't need to own them, but they are of interest because, you know, they're slightly different. Well, that's very true, yes. But I don't indeed. need to buy them, which is quite lucky. <laughs> no, no, indeed. Dear, oh dear. No, well, here we are, as I say, here we are. Let's look forward to a good time... Lots of interesting things turning up. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. And you've got something to play for us. Yes, the one of our earlier broadcasts, we I played some acetate records, mm. which caused quite a considerable amount of interest. And I had a few replies as to what people thought they were, were and I'm very mm. grateful to them for that. But now I'm going to play something a bit different. Now, I do know roughly what these are. Oh. We'll just have a brief look at the label. It will be... There you go. A, ta a tour of Europe by wireless set. 24th of October, 1936. Well, now, what's happened here is somebody has obviously got access to a disc, disc cutting machine mm -hmm. and a very good quality radio. And they're two men. And what they're doing is um, starting at one end of the medium wave band and, go and turning the dial slowly round. And they're telling you what stations are what the stations That's are. That's brilliant. So for a few seconds you hear what was going out on probably European radio in 1936. Amazing. Hitler's not on there, is he? I don't think so. No, I'm oh. fairly sure not. It's that man again. Hmm. Anyway, let, it's three sides, so right. I'm afraid I'll have to change sides, but never mind. Unavoidable. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proposing to take you a tour around the world with the wireless set. The wireless set was made by my friend Mr. L. D. McKinley who is here and will give you a few words presently. I will start with the bottom of the dial, that is the shortest wavelength, and I will start with knee.
of Lounge, we'll move up to Montpellier. That's it for this side. I think it already is. I wonder if you could turn it up a bit. Yes, of course. Now I'm going to turn the record oh. over to the other side. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he said lions instead of Lyon. I know. <laughs> that was Nuremberg. I thought that was pretty obvious. <laughs> it wasn't Herr Hitler, the no, German no, Chancellor. No. Let's record it. Right, okay. So There's not a huge amount of volume. That's better. No, it's Now, this is Copenhagen. And from Copenhagen, we come on to the London Airport. Is this your pocket handkerchief? <laughs> no, no. That's my evening gown. Your evening gown? Yes. You must have some very short evenings. <laughs> from there we go to... Here, come on, give me that throat. Oh, to no. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, all right. And that... And from Fécon to Bordeaux. Bordeaux to Bari in Italy.
to lose. Service impeccable. Je vous plais beaucoup. Vous vous y plairez aussi, monsieur. L'Astoria, deux points de l'étoile, le rapport de la clientèle. Chic. Hamburg. Great stuff. I wonder what that waltz was. I don't know. It's rather nice, isn't it? I can do a trick on this one. Just put one record straight on top of the, of the other. Well, that's handy. Save turning it over. Well, this is the th side three of this tour. This is jolly good. Yes, it needs better engineering, really. I'd, if I was to... What I ought to do, really, is to record it onto a mini-disc and yes. have it electrically and control... Because the, the levels are the all levels over the place. The levels are all over the place, yeah. There's nothing I can do about it. It's no. just the way it's been you recorded. You ought to get robbed to put it on a CD. Uh, we start after the regional of the Strasbourg. They're just applauding at the end of an item, I'm sorry to say. They're starting again. Now from Strasbourg to Moscow. This is Berlin. radiologi e di gabinetto batteriologico. Milano. Aiutanti odontotecnici. Infermieri. Leipzig. Ma même seulement comme je le disais à Lens l'autre dimanche. Scottish region. Katowice in Poland. Munich. Well, well, 
well. That was great. <laughs> I have to say the German ones were very elegant. They were. And I'd, it was amazing how clear some of those foreign stations came through. Yes. Probably better than some of the British ones. Well, they yes, were maybe up. they were broadcasting on uh, more powerful frequencies. He did or something. say it was shortwave, didn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. he did. I thought it was medium, now it's shortwave, so that makes it even more interesting. Yes. So, yes. But then there was a time when they called medium wave shortwave, didn't they? Ah. On early sets, but um, I thought that had gone by then, but um, it maybe may have been force of habit. Well, that, as I say, is a, I would think is a unique recording. I don't mm. think there's anything else around. I imagine I people did similar things, but I don't know whether they've survived. Well, I don't know. And you would need a decent quality setup to be able to record it properly and c as clearly as they did. Well, you'd have to have a professional... That's almost a professional cutting, so they mm. must have had access to very good disc recording equipment. Yes, yes. I wonder what that waltz was it, on the second side of it. I don't know, it was nice Jolly one. got it's good, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that, viewers. I found that jolly interesting. We're going to repeat that experiment. <laughs> and um, join us for our next videos in 2017. Thank you very much, Squire, for entertaining us. Thank you very much. Thank you, viewers. Goodbye.